This parklet has been cited for seven violations. Among the issues, having a roof, encroaching on the sidewalk, and not providing drainage by the curb. And if it's not all fixed within two weeks, the city will hit them with thousands of dollars in fines. Elaine Chu has relied on this parklet to keep her 15-year-old Chinatown restaurant, Grant Place, afloat during the pandemic. Outside, hey, we're late to be busy, busy. Mm -hmm. If cut, I don't know how we can do it. But now a new issue is threatening to derail her recovery. Last month, Elaine was told by the city her parklet was not up to code. She had 14 days to fix the violations or else face hundreds of dollars in daily fines. Next door, Washington Bakery also received multiple citations. We got cited by DPW, and then the week after, we got cited by fire department, and then the week after, we got an email from from SFMTA saying that we can only take one parking spot. Chelsea has spent thousands of dollars improving her parklet to bring it up to code throughout the pandemic. She says she's willing to continue doing that, but wants a less aggressive approach from the city. They gave us 14 days to fix it before we get fined every single day um, when we didn't even know about these changing regulations. There's no clarity between the departments and nobody knows which way they're supposed to go in terms of how they're going to conduct business. And it's easy to see why they're frustrated. Today we reached out to the city to find out what the current rules are for parklets and we're told different departments have different requirements. Every week is just something new. In San Francisco, Ginger Conejero Saab, NBC Bay Area News. So a lot needs to be sorted out. Now within the past hour, we heard from Supervisor Aaron Peskin, who says he's going to introduce legislation that would actually delay the start of these fines until July of next year.